It's always a good bet to bet on the American people. Just give them half a chance. And that's what we're doing. Betting on America. Today at the White House, President Joe Biden unveiled his new plans for building back better. He emphasized social spending and America leading the charge on fighting climate change. The president brought the House Democrats together to push his bill forward. But party progressives say they want to vote on the two pending bills at the same time. CBS 4's Deborah Alfaron has the latest from the White House. President Joe Biden has embarked on a multi-day trip to Europe to meet with world leaders. Before leaving, he huddled with House Democrats on Capitol Hill to push his revamped Build Back Better bill framework. This framework includes historic investments in our nation and in our people. The $1.75 trillion plan includes universal pre-K for all three and four-year-olds, an extension of the child tax credit, and a reduction in health plan premiums under the Affordable Care Act. But it leaves out proposals proposals for paid family leave, free community college, and a tax on billionaires. No one got everything they wanted, including me. But that's what compromise is. The president's framework, which also includes a half trillion dollar investment in climate change initiatives, is expected to be paid for through taxes on the nation's wealthiest individuals and corporations. The text is there for you to review, for you to complain about it, for you to add to, for subtract from, whatever it is, and we'll see what consensus uh, emerges from that. Progressives in the House say they will not vote on the president's trillion dollar infrastructure bill until the spending plan is ready for a vote as well. We intend to vote for both bills when the Build Back Better Act is ready. We have the opportunity to really uplift and strengthen our economy. Meanwhile, Vice President Kamala Harris discussed the new Build Back Better framework during a roundtable with a bipartisan group of mayors. Deborah Alfaron, CBS News, Washington. Never, never in our lifetimes has our economy, our culture, our values, our way of life faced such a grave risk from people in our own government. And if we don't defeat this, the days of trauma and chaos that lie ahead are real. Marco Rubio's a no vote and Florida's other